he stopped there uh, one morning with two little burrows, little gray burrows. And, uh, and then when he got the little burrows watered, why he went on down the desert. And, and I don't think, well, that was about the last time that anyone seen him. When someone disappears and you don't know what happened to them, the mystery becomes the dominant paradigm and everything else, unfortunately, can go by the wayside. My grandmas and grandpas, they told me that, yeah, there used to be a boy that used to walk around. He used to be an artist. Here was a young man, 20 years of age, just barely out of being a teenager, and he fell in love with the with the canyon country. You find allusions to it in the trail registers. You know, Everett was here. <laughs> That's basically what Everett's letters are, is a, re is a rejoicing emotionally about this landscape. And Everett was the first and the best. Nobody ever did it as well. There are lifetimes of things here. I mean, I can go any day of the week and go to some place I haven't seen. It's a magical landscape. He did one trip of 400 miles in six weeks solo with his burrows. And if there's, I think that was his greatest achievement, the journeys themselves. In some of his last letters, he indicated that uh, where I go, I would leave no trace. This was wild. It was open. It, you could feel your adrenaline when you stepped out the door because you knew there was nothing or no one out there to help you if something went wrong. If you see too much, if you go too close, you're gonna fall in. My brother was accused of killing him. And uh, so that sparked a heck of a con uh, controversy about, you know. She didn't want to admit that he died until 1963. You know, the most famous quote of all is, when the time comes to die, I'll find the wildest, loneliest, most desolate place there is. And when we step up to these great challenges, we find that we have this greatness within ourselves um, that, that we never would have known about um, if we had just stayed in that really easy and comfortable zone. Say that I start, say I was and weary, but say that I can to my dream Always oh, shall I be one who loves the wilderness I shall sing my song for the shriek of desert winds but the shriek of desert winds I shall sing my song